off a few things, including the fact that 2021 is not just a year of the big pilot, it is also about the pilot's chronograph. And we're gonna hear about the evolution of the reference and how significant it is to the manufacturer. David, good morning, how are you, sir? Good morning, Justin, I'm doing very well, how are you? Very good, good to see you. Now, David, tell us a little bit about the significance of the pilot's chronograph and the chronograph more broadly to IWC. Yes, I mean, the chronographs in generally uh, first were introduced 1980 at IWC with the famous uh, Porsche design chronograph number one. But of course, for us, it made sense to bring this complication also in the world of the pilot watches. And it was a tiny little step in the year 1988 when the first pilot's chronograph was launched. But I think one um, major step and also from a perspective of watchmaking was the year 1992. Because in this year we launched a double chronograph, um, a Ratrapanti within the pilot's watch family. And this is the successor. It's the reference 3713. For all collectors, they will notice it has a different sapphire than the original 3711. What is so special? I mentioned the double chronograph and um, this is interesting to see because this was a pure IWC um, development based on a classical chronograph movement. And so we had a huge success with this watch and it was the introduction of the standard steel bracelets at IWC. And I think if you look at our chronos, you always think on standard steel bracelets, robust and very good to wear. And as well as that beautiful vintage reference, you've also got two from this year. And, and it would be fair to say that maybe it's the year of integration, be it the straps or the year of the color. So the dial changes. Yes, Justin, what I brought first, I have this beautiful chronograph, um, the new one with, and now it's uh, getting very interesting with a 41 with a smaller case and a new design standard steel bracelet. And on the other hand, I have um, the same chronograph with a leather strap and you mentioned the colors, very important. So we have the greenish dial here and the beautiful blue colored dial also. If I, for example, turn the case, then you see what you are referring to here, we can have a quick change on the straps. So if it is leather or standard steel, this makes this new chronograph very versatile. And just taking a moment to compare the 3713 bracelet with the new one, it's always been, as you say, in IWC's DNA to enjoy a bracelet on a pilot's chronograph. Yes, um, they look very similar. Of course, um, if you look at the details, there are some slightly differences, but I would say it's typical IWC. We look back on the history, what has uh, been before, and then we do something new. So the innovation comes by looking back. And so, yeah, I think it's a, it's, 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 it's a good thing um, to keep this up with the combination of new and old, so to speak. How does this new size feel on the wrist? And are these limited editions? Um, for the last question, no, there are no limited editions. So um, as soon they will be available in the boutique, I recommend to go there and have a try. And this is what I'm doing now. So with these 41 uh, millimeters, if you have a, a smaller wrist like I do, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. And um, like I said, I mean, this is a, a sports watch to go out. So um, go to the boutique, have a try. It's brilliant. <laughs> David, as always, thank you very, very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I really look forward to seeing you in person, hopefully very, very soon. Very good, thank you. The Pilot's Chronograph, a traditional, functional, beautiful piece of engineering, now in a new case site with exuberant, bright dark colors.